And as we move on, the U.S. government has frozen the assets of two leaders of the Al-Shabaab terror group over the Garissa attack. Al-Shabaab's leader, Ahmed Duriye and Mahad Karatis, Mahad Karate's assets under U.S. jurisdiction have been frozen and American firms barred from engaging in any transactions with them. The U.S. State Department blacklisted and designated the two as terrorists as the director of public prosecutions, Kerriako Tobiko, appointed five prosecutors to aid in investigations into the attack on the Garissa University College. Ahmed Dirie, who took over the leadership of the Al-Shabaab following the death of Ahmed Abdi Godane in September last year, and Mahad Karate, also known as Abdi Rahim Mohammed Warsame, are both said to have played a key role in Al-Shabaab's intelligence wing, Amniat. The wing is tasked with executing suicide attacks, assassinations, and provision of logistical support for terror activities. The two have not only been blacklisted by the U.S. government, their assets under U.S. jurisdiction have been frozen and American firms banned from engaging in any business with them. The move comes a day after the interdiction of nine top security and administration chiefs, among them the Northeastern Regional Coordinator Ernest Muni, the Garissa County Commissioner Njenga Mihiri, the Garissa AP County Commander Christopher Mude, the Garissa County Criminal Investigations Officer Musa Yego, and the Garissa OCPD Benjamin Ngombe. In Garissa, residents have welcomed the move, but some of them have a different school of thought. They have to consult with the bona fide people of Garissa regarding the matter of security. They must be included, particularly the peace ambassadors, the colloquial veterans. We have got almost 400 or above who are ex armies ex-soldiers. They can take over the security of this town. As investigations into the conduct of the interdicted officers get underway... I don't take it as a punishment or a victimization. My office is hoping for any investigation. Musa Yego, who was in charge of Garissa County's Criminal Investigations Department during the Garissa attack that left 148 people dead, maintains he did his best. What I'm happy that what is happening now will also uh, assist our region to quiet. Five prosecutors appointed by the Director of Public Prosecutions to assist in investigations into the Garissa attack will work alongside a team set up by the Inspector General of Police. It is the second round of investigations after two other investigative teams handed their reports to the Interior Cabinet Secretary Joseph Nkaiseri last week. One of the reports implicated security agencies in Garissa, saying they had been forewarned about an impending attack, but did not take the necessary action. Rita Tinina, KTN.